Hey there everybody, it's been a while since I posted a video, but I wanted to post a video about the latest razor I've added to my collection, and it is the Parker 87R. You can generally pick this up for $29 to $31 most every place. Amazon, you can get it at West Coast Shaving. It's, it's pretty ubiquitous, you can find it everywhere. I've used this razor about three times now. And I wanted to use it a few times before I gave a review of it. Um, it's it's a pretty good razor for the money. It's it's hard to beat. If you're coming from an Edwin Jagger DE89, I would honestly say that this is more aggressive and would probably be a good second step. Um, it is obviously a twist open razor. Bear with me. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. Because... Every expense here is spared to make great videos. So, besides I'm broke. But that's what she looks like on the inside. It, The design-wise, it's kind of reminiscent of a Gillette Super Speed as far as I'm concerned. Now, I see people take razors like this and compare them to things like the um, Game Changer from Italian Barber. Or something along those lines. I have the game changer with the 0.84 blade gap is this razor as good as that no not at all but with the right blade this thing shaves great and believe it or not it gets up under your nose if you shave your mustache area i've been pretty impressed with it so far and the cool thing about a razor in this price range is this if i lose this in a hotel room or forget it i'm about 30 bucks I don't want to be out 30 bucks, but I'd rather be out 30 bucks than 65, 70, or 100. We can keep going. Um, take a close look at the handle here. It's pretty grippy. Honestly, it could be better. There's take a look at the end real close. And I'm sure if you drop it, it probably won't do it any good. So try not to drop it. As far as the handle goes... I always make sure that my hands are dry. I would take a moment after I lather my face up and pick up a towel and dry off my hands with any razor I have because I don't want to drop any of them. But it's appointed quite well. The finish on it's pretty good. And if you only have $30 to spend on a razor, I would recommend this one. Blade recommendations with this razor. For me and my face, the one that works with the best with this one is the Gillette Perma Sharps and the Voskhods, those the Russian blades. They are very, very smooth. Second best is the Gillette Platinum. Um, I tried the Gillette uh, Super Blues and I actually nicked myself in a couple of places because this isn't the smoothest razor, but with like any razor, you have to find the magic combination of blades and stuff, but still, for the money, it works pretty good. Also, it comes with a five pack of these Parkers and these blades aren't too shabby themselves. So if you're in the market for an inexpensive razor or you wanna take a second step up, good English. If you wanna take a second step up, this would be a good choice. It's, it's, it's recommended. Coming up next on my channel is gonna be a review of the Vikings blade Chieftain Odin. We're going to take a look at that uh, limited edition gold one and see what we think about it. So if you are interested in matters of faith, there's a link below to my other channel and my podcast. If faith is important to you or you need some type of spiritual encouragement, you know, click on those links. Subscribe to my other channel as well. Subscribe to this channel if you like this kind of stuff because this channel is kind of a hodgepodge of things. Um, there may be a uh, Texas pulled pork recipe coming up on this channel before long. But if those things are important to you, there's links below to my other YouTube channel and my podcast. You guys have a wonderful day and God bless.